Okay, so this one's from Sharon. And the headline is, How do I manifest something wonderful without the bridge of incidents involving so much deep pain? Oh my God, this is going to be so much fun to answer, but first we'll let Sharon ask it. Yeah. Through Victoria. So her question is, In the past, big change has meant a lot of pain, both emotional and physical, sometimes for years. All right, real quick, revise. Hmm. Right, always revise. Yeah. Okay, seriously. <clears throat> like, always revise, right? Right there, okay, boom. All right, revise that. Big change, easy fun. Next. And more of the end results were good for me. Others. None. No, sorry. Oh, none. Sorry, not more. And none of the end results were good for me. Others won, but not me. Okay, let's mm. nail that. Ready? When yeah. someone says none, every, ever, always, those kinds of things, that basically tells me they're filtering a whole bunch of stuff because it's like, you know what? I've never had a success with this. You and I have never gotten along. And it's like, <laughs> well, why would we have gotten married then? I don't know. We both must have been insane, right? Never uh, disregards like, all right, so like we had an argument or two. Cool. But besides that, yeah. right? I've never had a good breath of fresh air. <laughs> yeah, you have, right? <laughs> Always, every, never. That just tells me you're um, filtering out all sorts of stuff. Mm. Stop mm. it. Mm. Yeah. In other words, start imagining in a way that uh, brings up like sometimes. You know, sometimes, you know, this is how it's been. Yeah, sometimes right? it's been if, if you just explore from feelings sometimes, it ain't the words, but feelings, yeah, sometimes it's been shit. I'll revise those. Oh, but there have been a, a couple good times. I guarantee you'll find them. Mm. But always, every, never. That's an absolute state. Very German. Mm. Continue, Victoria. <laughs> Very German. Mm -hmm. And 20 should know. That's right. Okay. The only time something big and wonderful happened, it involved a lot of pain before that and after that for months. Revise. Mm. Right? Revise it. Always mm. revise it. Cool. How do I manifest something wonderful without the bridge of incidents involving so much deep pain? There you go. By the way, you got an answer today. I'd consider that wonderful. You might think it's okay. It was pretty easy. I mean, a lot of and there was deal. no pain involved. But there was no pain. Yeah. Right. Honest to God. So you you got something really cool today with no pain. Mm. How else can you play with this? Yep. Everywhere. Yeah. So, my my other little comment, and let me know what, what you think about this, Victoria. I'm guessing you don't put a lot of fun buns in the oven. Like, uh, mm -hmm. I imagined up a really super yummy lunch today. And the mm -hmm. idea that popped into my head and the action that I took, boom. Right? Yeah. Really fun. Yeah. I'll have to tell you something else about the dog park, too. Cool. So, Anya, welcome to the show. David. Hello, Anya. All right, Belinda. Next. Cool. Good Victoria. one, Sharon. Unless you want to add something in. No, but I do get that little end bit that you said that, like, maybe sometimes you have lots of fun little buns and maybe you're not considering those. Totally. And it's like only when you become obsessive on one big bun and then for whatever reason you're remembering the ones where it hurt. I get that. By the way, I, I imagined up being loving, happy husband. And that moved me around the world. And could there have been pain involved? Was there? Sure. But also a tremendous amount of joy. And a tremendous amount of adventure. Like, I mean, like, when I first came here, I had to leave the country every 90 days, so we'd take these little holiday trips, and then I had to go back to the States and sort out some shit. Victoria mm. came over there and joined me. Yeah. The, and I mention that because it's like, uh, first of all, if you imagine that it's always going to suck, it's always going to suck. Mm -hmm. But if you imagine, you know what, it's always going to be uh, unicorn farts and rainbows. Uh, the second where you don't have that, I, I got an email from a lady this week. She said, my business had a slow day. How did I screw up? And I wrote back, mm. oh, yeah. what are you imagining? <clears throat> yeah. It's like, I'm imagining every day making X amount of dollars. I said, yeah. well, there are going to be some days that you don't. Yeah. Right. Just to be blunt. Right. Yeah. They're, yeah. And, and, and if, if you're imagining it's all based on a dollar figure per 24 hour period of time, you'll drive yourself nuts. But on the other hand, I keep playing this game called double your income, work half the time, double your income, work half the time. What else can we do to double our impact, work half the time, while doubling our income again? You get it? That's fun. Uh, versus, I mean, like, we, we had a slow day this week. I think it was Wednesday. Mm. And it's like, cool. Don't care. I right? didn't even hear about it. So right? that's cool. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, then, and, and then it speeded okay. up like four hours later. Yeah. So normally I wake up to so many sales, I woke up to like two. I was like, oh, that ain't usual. Mm. Right? And it's like, cool. Maybe something was down. Maybe whatever. Did some systems checks. Everything's functioning fine. All right. Mm. And about four hours later, it's like, yeah. all right, cool. But if I got yeah. all worked up. Mm. Yep. So next Victoria. Cool. So thank you, Sharon. That was ace.